There is nothing so absurd that it cannot be believed as truth if repeated often enough. A great many people think they are thinking when they are merely rearranging their prejudices. The art of being wise is the art of knowing what to overlook. To change one's life. 1. Start immediately. 2. Do it flamboyantly. 3. No exceptions. The greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. We are like islands in the sea, separate on the surface but connected in the deep. The greatest discovery of my generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. Nothing is so fatiguing as the eternal hanging on of an uncompleted task. Thoughts become perception. Perception becomes reality. Alter your thoughts. Alter your reality. There is but one cause of human failure, and that is man's lack of faith in his true self. The greatest use of a life is to spend it for something that will outlast it. Acceptance of what has happened is the first step to overcoming the consequences of any misfortune. The mind is made up by what it feeds upon. There is no more miserable human being than one in whom nothing is habitual but indecision. The deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. Belief that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. You may not get everything you dream about, but you will never get anything you don't dream about. Most unhappiness is caused because people listen to themselves instead of talking to themselves. Human beings, by changing the inner attitudes of their minds, can change the outer aspects of their lives. Successful men act as though they have accomplished or are enjoying something. Soon it becomes a reality. Everybody should do at least two things each day that he hates to do, just for practice. There can be no existence of evil as a force to the healthy-minded individual. Men habitually use only a small part of the power which they actually possess. The world is all the richer for having the devil in it, so long as we keep our foot upon his neck. We are all ready to be savage in some cause. The difference between a good man and a bad one is the choice of the cause. Why should we think upon things that are lovely? Because thinking determines life. A winner's attitude, it may be difficult, but it's possible. A loser's attitude, it may be possible, but it's too difficult. Great emergencies and crises show us how much greater our vital resources are than we had supposed. Positive images of the future are a powerful and magnetic force. Success or failure depends more upon attitude than upon capacity. We forget that every good that is worth possessing must be paid for in strokes of daily effort. There is no worse lie than a truth misunderstood by those who hear it. 
Give your dreams all you've got and you'll be amazed at the energy that comes out of you. The soul is stronger than its surroundings. The minute a man ceases to grow, no matter what his years, that minute he begins to be old. Act. Look. Feel successful. Conduct yourself accordingly and you will be amazed at the positive results. Be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. It is a common habit to blame life upon the environment. Environment modifies life but does not govern life. Never suffer an exception to occur till the new habit is securely rooted in your life. Tell him to live by yes and no. Yes to everything good, no to everything bad. We have grown literally afraid to be poor. This life is worth living, we can say, since it is what we make it. Need and struggle are what excite and inspire us. Our hour of triumph is what brings the void. He who refuses to embrace a unique opportunity loses the prize as surely as if he had tried and failed. The best argument I know for an immortal life is the existence of a man who deserves one. The impulse to take life strivingly is indestructible in the race. Happiness comes of the capacity to feel deeply, to enjoy simply, to think freely, to risk life, to be needed, which give happiness. It is only by risking our persons from one hour to another that we live at all. Wherever you are, it is your own friends who make your world. The emotions aren't always immediately subject to reason, but they are always immediately subject to action. Our science is a drop, our ignorance a sea. We don't laugh because we're happy, we're happy because we laugh. It is wrong always, everywhere, and for everyone, to believe anything upon insufficient evidence. All our scientific and philosophic ideals are altars to unknown gods. Common sense and a sense of humor are the same thing, moving at different speeds. A sense of humor is just common sense, dancing. Facts are the bounds of human knowledge, set for it, not by it. Genius, in truth, means little more than the faculty of perceiving in an unhabitual way. To know is one thing, and to know for certain that we know is another one. Every perception is an acquired perception. What the whole community comes to believe in grasps the individual as in a vice. 